Hey, air sign. Welcome in. <laughs> How's it going? This is September 5th. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We're using the Fenestra deck today. Ooh, King of Wands on the bottom here. Hi. Um, we're looking at your uh, twin flame soulmate relationships. What is going on for you more specifically? What's happening for you? <laughs> and we are into September now. The holiday is behind us. I feel like energy's moving fast again, which is so good and bad, right? Four of Pentacles. Um, holding on to the past a little bit here. Oh, there's the King of Wands again, and the King of Pentacles. Right? Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so this is this is about a choice. I think we've been talking about this. Yes, it is about a choice of um, partner, choice of life partner. Okay, so I feel like this King, this Earth energy is sort of now blocking you. This person is sort of like, they are holding on to something else. They're focused on their work. They could be focused on their work to the, to the exclusion of you, not really focused on you at all. Um, kind of blocking you, in fact, not really. The Four of Pentacles is definitely blocking you. I also feel selfish. I also feel there's something here that feels a little bit like um, they're blocking and they're sort of looking out to the universe for what they are manifesting. Um, and if they do come near you, it's very slow. It's And it's with this same intention of them, right? Four of Pentacles is selfish. So it's like, it's all about them. All right. The King of Wands is expansive, right? Sun energy there, very expansive. Um, you have a choice here. Which do you prefer? Because, okay, <laughs> um, I have a friend who is, um, a lawyer. He's a lawyer. And I think I've told this story before. I'm not sure if I told it to you before, but, um, he makes a lot of money. He's a king of pentacles. Okay. And he, everything is in his wife's name and everything like that. And I'm always like, really, is that a good idea? And he's like, what do I care? I can fish. But that's what the relationship is about. The pentacles and the fish for them. That's what it's about for them, right? And it's all in service to him making more pentacles. The whole, it's a system. The whole shebang is set up so he can just continue all he has to do, I don't think he's hung up a suit in his whole life, right? Every, he doesn't do anything that he doesn't want to do. So if, he, so if he's cooking, it's because he wants to. It's not because it's like a, a shared labor thing, right? And look, that works for them, right? No, no, no judgment here. It works for them. That's the kind of life they chose. This King of Wands is somebody who can create universes this is the this is the energy of the king of wands and it's not about how many pentacles are in the bank there's plenty of flow it's like i don't really pay attention whether there's a hundred bucks or there's twenty thousand bucks because if there's a hundred bucks there's going to be twenty thousand bucks any minute now right it's like who cares it's flowing this king of pentacles looks at the balance sheet every freaking day so this slower energy is because it's dense, it's heavy, it's earthbound, it's not expansive um, air sign. And you damn well know you're expansive, right? It's like, what? look, what's going to make you happy? For some of us, for some of the air signs, it's like, you know what? I'm so up here. I need someone who grounds me. That's a good choice. For some of you, I need the expansion of the King of Wands, right? You might have earth, you might have earth and air, right? Together, 
So you're able to do stuff, but you need the creativity of that ace, of that king, that uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Le uh, Leo energy. So Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, not quite rising to the level of a King of Pentacles, King of Wands. Um, if you see yourself as the King of Pentacles and you're looking for this King of Wands, you could see yourself as this King of Wands and looking for that King of Pentacles, right? Does it match? So if you have a situation where you're manifesting the thing you need, give it to yourself first. Be that. And then that clicks. That, come, that energy will come around you, right? If you, if you are the King of Wands and you're expansive and creative and lots of air and fire in your chart but no earth, become the earth. Bring that into yourself. Where's earth in your chart? Where's earth in your look in your chart? What is that? What is what is missing here in your abundance equation? What's missing? So this page of cups here, because of that two of swords, ooh, king of cups. I feel like the escalation of that can happen when it's when it's when you're manifesting internally, when you are, yes, five of, don't externalize, there he is, page of wands, little bastard. Um, <laughs> page of wands externalizes their happiness and creativity. Whatever you're lacking, give it to yourself, and then that can show up in your environment, okay, as an offer of love. Don't resist it. You've got some big, high energy here. Kings, kings, kings. Masculine energy here. And this is resistance. Ten of Wands is thinking you have to do it all yourself. It's not this kind of doing it all yourself. All right? The, the pentacle kind, the earth kind of doing it all yourself feels draining. Okay? Doesn't it? Feels draining. We're talking about manifesting something that is internal happiness and joy, and then those other things come to you. You see what I'm saying here? Embody the King of Pentacles if you need Earth. Embody the King of Wands if you need creativity. Embody the King of Cups if you want love. What are the buckets that you need to fill for yourself? Embody them thereby not externalizing your happiness. Because when the person comes, when this King of Wands or King of Pentacles come, or King of Cups comes to you, you're a whole person. You have something to share with them instead of taking from them and, and giving it to you so you can be whole and vice versa, right? Giving to them so they can be whole. Being a whole person means you're attracting a whole person. One plus one equals five. And then you can put down the burden of this, all doing all this heavy work, dense stuff, and elevate into something more easier, right? Easier, just easy. Do you ever have a relationship like that where you're just like, man, this is just easy? I have. Staying in that vibration is a challenge. It's so awesome. But that's what this is challenging you to do right now, is putting down the idea that, putting down those ideas that have blocked this person from coming in. They want to come in. Ten, son, they want to come toward you. Putting down the idea that it's out there. We talk a lot about that in the Empress Club reading for today to September 5th, putting down the idea that it's out there. So this is sort of like, what do you need to manifest in yourself so that it manifests in your life? What do you need to add to your own, get stable, get creative, get loving? And then that will appear. Be the change you want to see in the world. This person is here. All you have to do is call them in. That's all you have to do. Because they're here. 
right through here. You know it. All right, air sign, let's get some uh, guidance for you and messages for you about how to proceed. There's a link below if you're so inclined. That's a pretty big talk for a Tuesday. <laughs> All right, I'll see you on the other side.